Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will see how we can access the applications outside of your Docker host machine. So access the applications means, so for example, if you are having the Nginx container or anything means, and if you want to access that container application outside of your Docker host machine, like your base machine or outside world, if you want to access that means, how we can do it? Let's try to see it. So let's click on the slideshow. Yeah. So in this video, we will see how to access our applications from outside of the Docker engine, which means how to access applications running inside the Docker engine. As I told you before, by default, all the applications which are running in Docker engine will not be accessible from the outside. Why? Because it is using a private address. Let us see that particular behavior. Let's say we have a Docker host machine. And on that particular Docker host machine, the Docker host machine means uh, you will be getting confused that it is nothing but where you have installed the Docker engine. So right now we are having a virtual machine that is nothing but Ubuntu server. And in that Ubuntu server, we have installed the Docker engine. Then it is called as a Docker host machine. So you can say it as an Ubuntu server or virtual machine or a Docker host machine. Anything you can say it or server also. That particular machine is called as a Docker host machine. On that particular Docker host machine, I have told you how to configure the static IP, IP address using the bridge adapter on VirtualBox. So right now our IP address is 192.168.1.13. It is the IP address we have configured. In your case, it may be the different IP address depending on the router. So whenever you install the Docker engine in your machine, by default, a Docker zero interface will be created and that will be available. So that means whenever you install a Docker engine, a Docker zero interface will be created and that will be available. Everybody can see the interface, the same IP address. So here, how I am showing you the Docker zero bridge interface and the same IP address is 172.17.0.16 16 by 16. You can execute this. Uh, you can see that in your virtual machine by using IPA or IP address show command on your Docker host machine and you will see a Docker zero interface with this IP address. So let's try it. I will try to show you and this is our IP address, right? So here, if you try to type IP address to our IPA and here, this is our Wi-Fi or the LAN network ENP 0 S3. In your case, uh, depending on the ISO on your IP operating system. So here you'll be able to see ETH 0 or ENP 0 S3. And here, this is the Docker 0 interface, which I am trying to tell you. The Docker 0 interface will be created and the IP address is 172.17.0.1.16. So for everyone, the same IP address will be there and this Docker zero interface will be created when the Docker engine has been installed. So this is the concept which I am trying to explain you. Now let's go back to our slideshow. So whenever you install the Docker engine on your machine, by default, a Docker zero interface will be created. And I have shown you that uh, about that uh, Docker interface also. And everybody can see the same interface, same IP address, fine. You can execute IP address show command, which I have shown you on your Docker host machine, and you will see a Docker zero interface with this IP address. So what does it mean? So this is the program they have written by the Docker engine package to create this particular interface. So that means when you install the Docker engine, the Docker engine package, the program has already been written to create that particular interface. So that means now every container will get an IP address from this particular interface. So now the container which you are create, trying to create in this Docker engine will get the IP addresses from this Docker zero interface. And this interface one end will be connected to the ENP zero S3. So that means that is nothing but your route, uh, your ETH zero. So that is nothing but so the your connection. Sometimes you will see ETH0 or sometimes you will be you will be seeing ENP0S3. It is like switch. Assuming that at your home you have a switch or router, something like that. One end of the router will be connected to the LAN cable from your internet service provider. So what I am trying to tell you is, so this is the ENP0S3. So let's say example I am telling that, assume that in your home you have a router. Let's say that you have a router and what it will be having the router, one end will be connected to the LAN cable like your ATL connection or Geo connection, whichever it may be. The internet service provider, the LAN cable will be connecting to the router one end from your internet service provider. Assuming that, assume that ENP03 is nothing but your internet service. That is the, the assume that that uh, ENP03 is nothing but the internet cable which you are trying to see it. 
and from that you have attached a cable to your Docker Docker Zero interface. So from the router, from another end, you have connected to a Docker Zero interface. Though it is not physically available, just I am trying to explain with a real time example what we use in a daily basis. So for example, let's say that I will try to open the paint and I will show you. So if you get confused. So let's say that this is our router, so which you will be having in your home and you will be getting the connection from the outside and you will be connecting from the other end to the laptop or anything. So assume that this is the ENP0 S3. Okay. So here you got this is the internet service provider. So you got the internet and from end from end this ENP0 S3 you have the internet and another end it is connected to the Docker 0. Okay. Docker 0 interface. So ENP0 S3 from one end it will be get, getting the internet and another end it, it has been connected to the Docker 0 interface. So this is the concept which I am trying to explain you. Let's go back to this one. This means that Docker 0 interface another end will be connected to ENP0 S3 where you can communicate to the outside world. So that means so what I am trying to tell is so in this paint so this Docker 0 in uh, so interface one end is connected to the ENP0 S3 so through the ENP0 S3 where you can connect to the outside world. So that means outside laptop or internet or anything you, you can connect it. So where you can communicate outside world and another end of your Docker 0 interface will be connected to the container. So that means another end will be connected. So this Docker 0 interface will be connected to the containers whatever the containers are there it will be connected to the containers like this. I will show you the diagram also I have, I have drawn this diagram. So like this you will be having. So this is the internet service provider and ENP0 S3 is connected to the so I have not I have I haven't uh, drawn this line. So but this one end is connected to the ENP0 S3 and this completely is a docker host machine that is nothing but our Ubuntu server and ENP0 S3 and the other end it is connected to the ISP and this one is connected to this docker 0 and docker 0 will be connected to the containers. So like this. So we have this Nginx container and this can uh, now we have this Nginx container. If you try to see we have the Nginx container and this container will be using some IP address from that particular Docker 0 series. So here I have shown you right. So 172.17.0.1 is a private address which the Docker 0 interface will be having. So from another end through the Docker 0 interface the containers will be attached. So now what I am trying to do. So whenever you are trying to create a containers and this container will be using some IP address from that particular docker 0 series. So the IP address will be assigned like will be like 2, 3, 4 like that. So that means so 172.17.01 has been assigned right. So whenever you create a container and 172.17.02 so another container means 3, 4 like that the IP addresses will be created. With this particular network series almost we can use IP address like 65,535 IP address minus 2. So now one of the IP address get assigned to my container called Nginx and this Nginx container is listening on a port number 80. Now this particular Nginx container will attach it to the Docker 0 interface to get the IP address. So that means I have created a container with Nginx and it is listening to the port 80. So I have created a container like that. And now for this Nginx particular container it will attach to the Docker 0 series and it will attach to the Docker 0 bridge interface in order to get the IP address. Now if my Nginx container wants to talk to the internet, first my packet will go to the docker bridge interface. Let us say I, I am typing ping, ping google.com. So here let us say that in the in Nginx if I want to talk to the outside world, let us say that here I have used ping google.com or something like that command I have used it. And this command first it will go to the docker 0 bridge interface and then it will go to the ENP 0 S3 and then it will go to the outside me, outside world. Let us say I am typing ping google.com. When I execute this command first, it will send this particular request to the docker 0 interface. Now this particular docker 0 interface will say where is google.com. It is not there in the local system. And now what it will do, it will send that request to the ENP0 S3 interface. From E to 0, it does not know where is google.com again. And now this particular packet will travel to the internet. So why because ENP0 S3 is connected to another end is connected to the internet. Then it will get the response and it will send back uh, the response to the docker 0 interface and from there it will go to the nginx container. So like this it will happen. 
Now what I mean to say is that Nginx IP address 172.17.02 is not reachable from outside. So if you go to the browser of my base machine, so here let's try to say that base machine means, so this is the base machine which we are having. On the top of the base machine, I have installed the virtual box and on the top of the virtual box, we have installed, we, we have created the Ubuntu server. There is nothing but our virtual machine and in that virtual machine, so the round circle is nothing but the container, Nginx container I have created. So now the Nginx container, if you, if it want, from, from the base machine, if I want to contact the container means I cannot contact it. So that means from the outside world, I cannot communicate to this, uh, what I want to say is to this container. So on the base machine, I am using the virtual box. On this virtual box, I have created a particular virtual machine, which is nothing but Ubuntu server. Now in this particular virtual machine, a container is created. So this is what I am trying to explain. Now the container IP address, what you are seeing 172.17.02. Here it will not be reachable from the outside means from the base machine as well. That is the default behavior of your INGINX IP address, which is nothing but Docker zero IP addresses. These IP addresses are nothing but private address. So these are all private address. So that is the reason. So it cannot be accessed from the outside. You can take the example of another container as well. Let's say Apache web server. So uh, let's say that another example, like I have created another container. Let's say Apache web server. Apache web server also listens to the port 18 ember and you can see a new IP address here has been created. Now this container will get the IP address from the Docker zero interface, how the Nginx got the IP address. Now here you'll be able to see. So now I have created an Apache new container and uh, I actually it should be connected to this bridge interface. And now a new IP address has been assigned by the bridge interface 172.17.03. And again, this one is also listening to the 80 port number only. And this one is listening to the 80 port number. And uh, two IP address has been assigned by the bridge zero, sorry, Docker zero bridge interface. Now by default, everybody will get the IP address from the same Docker zero interface like two, three, four, five like that. Now these containers by default will not be accessible from outside of your Docker host machine. Now how to access them? So what is the concept we have in the Docker engine? So that is the main, main funda, right? So in Docker engine, we have a concept called port forwarding. Same concept we have seen in the NAT interface as well. So in the first at the starting also, we have implemented this NAT interface. When you have configured your part port forwarding from your SSH port number 22, the same concept applies here also. Now, when I am using a port forwarding for my Nginx container and Apache container, you can see the port forwarding in the diagram. So this is the diagram. So now what I am trying to do. So this one, this 172.17.02, this has been created, the new IP address has been assigned. So now here, 80, 90 ports, the port forwarding I have did. So whenever the user types 18, 90, or 1880 means so then it will connect to the this one uh, to this nginx and apache now 1890 is the port number what i want is to bind on my doc docker host machine to my container called 80 port number now you are trying to bind your 1890 port number to your 80 port number inside the container this is called as an port forwarding so if now if i go to my browser in my uh, browser in my local laptop or local base machine and if I type 192.168.1.13 colon 1890 it should be able to access my nginx application so this is uh, this is the port number now if I want to access the apache web server as a container means now I need to do another port forwarding for this container and remember we can't use the same port number when I have used for one of the container so for 1890 I have used it for the nginx right so I cannot use the same 1890 port number for the apache web server also I need to use it another port number so i have to use a different port number in this example i will be using the 8080 port number now this 8080 port number will is getting binded to the 80 port number inside my apache container so this is one of the another port forwarding what i have done for the apache server container how many containers you want to access from outside of all the containers you have to do this port forwarding and remember this has to be decided while creating the container only once the container has been created, you can't do this particular action. That means we, you have to plan first. So whenever you are want the container to be port forward means for the time of creation only you need to decide. You need to decide, do you really want to access this particular container from outside or not? If you really want to access it means then you, if you want to use a bridge network, then you have to go for port forwarding. That's it. So this is how we will be doing the port forwarding or how we can access the application from outside. So now I hope you understood about the diagram. So let's try to show you again the diagram. So this is the diagram. This is the host machine we will be having. 
So that means this is the ENP 0 S3. So which is we are having 192.168.1.13. And this one will be connected to the another end will be connected to the Docker 0 bridge interface. And this Docker 0 bridge interface, you will be having all the containers attached to this one. And all the containers, the IP address will be assigned by the Docker 0 bridge interface. Now, when I want to access this 172.17.02, I can only access in this bridge 0 interface local machine only. There is nothing but Ubuntu server only. Why? Because this is a private address, IP address. Now, when I want to access this one outside of this uh, base machine means, so in this Docker host machine only, I can able to access. Outside the Docker host machine, if I want to access means, I cannot able to access this one. So what I will be trying to do, so I will be doing a port forwarding here. So that means 192.168.1.13.1890. If somebody access this one outside means, so automatically it will be redirected to this 80 port number, this one. So like this, we'll be doing the port forwarding. So hope you understood about this concept. So in the next video, we'll do the practical session for this one by creating both this Nginx container and Apache container. And I will do the port forwarding so that you can have a clear idea about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.